The Nebraska crop budgets are published online as both PDF and Excel worksheet files. The PDF version is probably the easiest to download and view. However, the Excel version provides users with the ability to modify budgets, making it possible for producers to make them resemble their operations more closely. Learning to modify the spreadsheets will require some effort though, as they were not designed to be user friendly. This video explains the basics of how users may modify these Excel files. Since the hyperlink on this video is on the website where the budget hyperlinks are located, you have probably already found the budgets. In this example, the Excel file that contains all of the crop budgets will be downloaded. The procedures demonstrated here will be similar for all individual Excel crop budget files as well. Due to differences between operating systems and web browsers, things may appear different in this video than on your computer. This browser shows the downloaded file near the bottom of the monitor. Clicking on it will open the Excel file, providing you have an appropriate version of Microsoft's Excel program on your computer. My computer shows the warning message, Protected View, Be Careful, Files from the Internet can contain viruses. Unless you need to edit, it's safer to stay in the protected view. You must enable editing if you want to edit these budgets. My browser then shows a security warning because these files have macros. The corn budgets are the only spreadsheets that use macros. One of the macros calculates nitrogen use given the expected yield. The other calculates corn seed given expected yield. You do not have to enable the macros unless you want to use these features. If you don't enable the macros, you will have to enter nitrogen use and corn seed planted manually. The Excel budget spreadsheets are color coded. The cells colored blue use a drop down menu to enter data. The only entries these cells will accept are those items listed in the drop down menu. Adding items to these drop down menus will be demonstrated later in this video. Information may be entered into cells colored yellow. This data will be used in calculations. All of the functions used for calculations are in cells with a white background. Data can also be added to these cells because these spreadsheets are not protected. If you add data into a cell with a white background, the functions residing there will be overwritten by the data so the worksheet will not function as designed. A user may need additional rows in the field operations or material and services sections. There may be rows available to do this that you can't see. You can see in this example that there are hidden rows between row 1 and row 5, row 19 and row 31, and row 55 and row 59. To show all rows, place the cursor over the number 1 and press down on the left button on the mouse. Hold this button down as you move the cursor to row 73. Next, let up on the left button on the mouse and click the right button on the mouse. This will bring up a menu with an item called Unhide. Clicking the left button on the mouse when the cursor is in this option will show all hidden rows. Rows 2 through 4 are where the data is entered that is displayed in the title of the budget. Most budgets will have some blank rows in the field operations and the material and services sections where new information can be entered. This demonstration will now show how to add a new material or service to the drop down menu or change the price of a material. First, move the cursor to a tab and press the right button on the mouse. A menu will pop up that includes an item called Unhide. Clicking on this using the left button on the mouse will show all the tabs that are hidden. Click on the materials item 
to show the materials tab and then click on the OK button with the left button on your mouse. Any item that you add to this tab will be available on the budget. Also, the price of any material changed on this tab will be changed on all budgets in the file. Adding an operation is done in a similar manner. Right click on a tab, click on Unhide, and then click Operations in the menu and OK. You can add operations or change any of the parameters used to calculate costs. There are many cells with yellow background color used to calculate these costs. These procedures to add or modify materials and operations may seem cumbersome and overwhelming, so you need to remember the purpose of the spreadsheets is to create budgets and facilitate their updates from one year to the next. They were not designed to be user friendly, but are being made available online for those willing to spend the effort necessary to learn how they can be modified. For more information, or if you have questions, send them to rwilson6 at unl.edu.